Okay, roof's gone, Mike. Mike, roof's gone. Debris in the air, roof's gone. On average, each year, several hundred tornadoes can touch down in the United States, many of which cause extensive damage to homes and businesses, and if proper precautions are not taken, can even cause death. These things can really, really be dangerous, so folks, when they see them, they need to take cover and they need to take it seriously. The National Weather Service defines a tornado as a violently rotating column of air in contact with the ground and extending from the base of a thunderstorm. You may have heard your local meteorologist describe the basics of how a tornado forms. Cold, dry Canadian air meeting up with warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. Now, when these two air mashes clash, that's when thunderstorms generally form. Along with thunderstorms, severe weather conditions such as thunder, lightning, heavy rain, hail, and tornadic activity are possible. As the cold, dry air collides with the warm, wet air, the cold air is quickly forced below the warmer air. This fast air movement creates what is called an updraft. An updraft is exactly what it sounds like, an upward movement of air in a thunderstorm. If this movement gets powerful enough and there is enough wind shear, rotation can be observed in the thunderstorm. This can create a tornado. Now, some of the strongest tornadoes are associated with very powerful thunderstorms called a mesocyclone. As this mesocyclone grows and the thunderstorms become more powerful, it can spark off a tornado outbreak. Now that you know how a tornado forms, you may be wondering how you know if one is heading your way. The Storm Prediction Center, in conjunction with your local National Weather Service, issues watches and warnings. Once we send the warning out through our computer systems, it also goes to the weather radio console here in the office. That, in turn, then goes out to the emergency alert system. Watches and warnings will let you know if tornado activity is likely to happen in your area. Here is a breakdown. A tornado watch is issued when the atmosphere has the right ingredients that could form a tornado in the next several hours. While you do not need to seek shelter immediately when a watch is issued, you should continue to monitor the weather in your area and be prepared to head indoors if conditions worsen. A tornado warning is issued when a tornado has been spotted or if a Doppler radar indicates rotation in a thunderstorm. It's the more serious of the two. Here's the tornado. Look up. Look all the way up. After a warning is issued, you should go inside immediately. Seek shelter in the lowest room in your house, preferably with no windows, and stay inside until the severe weather has passed. We hope this helps your mind get fully wrapped or twisted around how a tornado forms and how to stay safe if severe weather is heading your way. For NBC Weather Plus, I'm meteorologist Jeff Ranieri.